you want a piece of a Learjet in your house, it's only going to be $9,000. Hi, I'm George the Antique Nomad. Come with me as I wander the country in search of valuable vintage, amazing antiques, and cool collectibles. We'll buy, sell, and trade at antique malls, shops, and shows, estate sales, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere people go to find really interesting things that just aren't made anymore. So come on, let's go! Cool, so we're gonna see what's in here. Whoops. Dalton has. Cat's got the old school going there. Aw. Bert? I've never been in this place. What is the name of this? Wildwood Antique. Lots of sales, every booth, so this will be fun. I haven't been in this place before. This is what Kat bought yesterday, and their price here is $55. So now you know why she bought it. Kat paid $10 for hers. She is a good buyer. If you haven't watched her channel, by the way, it's The Nurse Flipper on YouTube, and you really ought to check her out because she's really good with eBay. She's really good with keywording. She, she gives lots of great tips to help you. So if you are an online seller, it's a good channel worth watching. This is really neat with the shell encrustation and that shows the conquistadors. I don't see a price on it, unfortunately. I do like that a lot. Oh, and then this sign piece is probably by our friend Florida Fayant. And I wonder how much they want for it here. Because we just saw on a recent video what he sells them for. Celluloid football player is $38. 40% off any item, $40 and under. Well, this is a beautiful clock, but it does not look like it will be $40 or under. It's Ingram. The Asian style is rather unusual for the period. This would be around 1890. It's priced at 225. I don't know what the discount is on items over $40. Let's see what these end of the trail bookends sell for. You know I like bookends. They're a little chipped on the high points. They have that nice copyright on the back, the last trail. They are priced at $62. Well, this place back here is still a little empty. This place is a mall that opened, I think, in the last year or two. The chain they were part of went through a big upheaval, so this has restored itself as an antique store, and so I think it uh, is really kind of reaching a new level with dealers moving in and everything. So this says it's Barbini. Barbini is a good name in Italian glass. On the other hand, they say it's uranium. I would be very skeptical to think that that was, but there is the label on the bottom. This is Honor Roll, and this is something that would usually be in a city park. Speaking for the folks who lost their lives in various wars, <laughs> perhaps it was replaced. It's actually sheet iron. It's quite substantial, but now you can see how these plaques that you see in the monuments are done, at least in this part of the 20th century, and it's priced at $8.75. This place definitely has a lot of different things. Here we go. This is the male version of the stripper glasses. Yes, ladies, for equal opportunity in the early 80s, Spencer Gifts sold these. And these are priced with the discount at about $67. And these are older tiki mugs. They are priced at $34 with the discount. I like the red and white enamelware table. This is cool. 625 minus 40 percent see nice stuff in here but so far not anything i'm seeing that's very inexpensive for resale now i know there are things because friends of mine who came this weekend said that they found some things here and were very happy charles of london these are interesting little wood cutouts actually i say wood but that is masonite I'm going to be getting a large bellows coffee table. I suppose I could put this clock with it. Neat old 1930s Philco radio. Someone redid this in LeMay in the 50s. But it's a nice style. It makes it complicated. 
Oh, I like that piece that you're holding. This is Jack Black. Really? 59. I have the same piece I got on auction for five. Wow. That same. Mom? It's really beautiful and really studied. And that's. This is Hull. It says. It's Hull. That is correct. Yeah. Like $60. The, the H in the middle. 60 is kind of an old school price for it. But that is an old piece of Hull. And a lot of people don't recognize it because yeah. it doesn't spell it out. Yeah, the Jack Black piece is so well, though. I really like that. I'm glad you showed me that. I wasn't... Uh, I There was so much stuff like that that was made in the time that was really nice, but I don't know the names yet. I picked up a radio last night, a pouch radio. Somebody only sells for 30 Harley. The Harley. Yeah, you know, some of the Harley stuff isn't as high comp as you would think it would be. But if you get anything old, a friend of mine just got a 1930 sales brochure, and I was like, oh, that's nice. He said, yeah, I found it for a dollar. And I said, what's it worth? And he's like, oh, 150 The $3,000 I spent is all made in China. Yeah. But it's all China. Oh, it, it, oh, yeah, no, I mean, a lot of the news. I did an appraisal of Disney figurines last year, and I'd say that half or two-thirds of what they had was really recent, and it still sold for good money. So it's not always about age. <clears throat> but in the places I sell, it is mainly about age. Two little stoneware pots here, and the one on the left is Pottery Craft. This was based on Robert Maxwell's ideas of dripping the glaze, dripping the glaze, dripping the glaze, and then you use various methods to make sure the glaze doesn't adhere to the parts you don't want, so then you get all this variation. They only have $8 on it. They say it's unsigned. What they don't see is right there where it says PC USA. That is Pottery Craft, so it is actually signed. So I think I'll take that. And it's 25% off, so that's even better. I can't say I see anything else in here that really grabs me, though. And I do see a lot of new things mixed in with the old. And for me, new things means... Slim pickings, wah wah. But I have found something already, and there's so much in here, there's going to be old stuff too. Yeah. USA Fire Department. Okay. That does look like it's old. I like it. Leather badge. Howdy doody marionette. And Roy Rogers and Trigger binoculars. Wow. Curious about these because of the brushing around the bottom of them. It's a nine piece set and they're set in these baskets to begin with. It is hand blown. They're sort of styled after what Viking Glass was doing, but I think these are very likely to be Italian from the early 70s. 65% off glass and ceramics, so. Let's see if we can find any interesting ones. I kind of like that color. It's 24, so it'd be like 13 or 14. I don't know that it'd go for much more than like 25. I think you're right, honestly. There's that Kanawha piece on top of that smoke color I have. Yeah, yeah. I find the smoky colors more difficult to sell, even though I personally like them. These are cute. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That, I think Lepton did those, or someone like them. Inesco. Inarco. Inarco. Okay. All those whatever okay. co's. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Something co importers. And then there's two bottles, I guess, as well. No, Jugs. Ah. And then here's the set Not a knock, of Japanese seven, knockoffs eight. of the Dorothy Kendall nudes from the late 40s. These were done in the 50s. They want 99, but one has a hairline crack, so I'm going to leave those. Here is a Kurok. This is the, yeah, this must be the night before Christmas. And he's getting ready to go to bed so Santa can come. This is 1970s. I've never seen this one. Um, they're asking 55, which, you know, it could be worth because Kurok is popular now. And that is an unusual motif. Wanted to show in this case because they have a pair of Dalton Lambeth bases. And they have the 1902 to 1922 mark that you'll see there. Nice Art Nouveau design. They are asking 500 for the pair which to me seems like a little bit of an old school price. 
Nevada. This oh, is by Royal China. I like the slot machine in that it's an ashtray and it's nine dollars. I think that's a buy. Oh, that's cute with the eyes. Very blue. It's Are those Nap glass eyes? No, no, it's Napco. Yeah. That's that's very cute actually. Only eight dollars up at that was. It's got so. a chip. Oh shoot. A couple of pattern glass pieces here from the 1890s, but they are priced over $30. I've had this once before. It's the Heineken Windmill Bar Topper. It has a motor that makes it run, and it is $90 minus 25%, which is not a terrible price, but they do seem to sell for around 100, so not really enough room for me. I like the Owls here, 28 before the discount. I've had the single of this before. No clue as to where they were made. Vintage snap-on glasses. These do well here in Florida. How much are you? Twelve dollars. Okay. And then this is a neat Paps Blue Ribbon sign. A light-up sign from about 1970. Good old-time flavor supposed to be reminiscent of the 1890s with that design but it is priced at 150 so it's staying here 50 that table for 50 i was just about to i just and turned it says 40 percent off all furniture though. yeah i mean that's sort of hard to believe and how would either of us fit it in our car at this point <laughs> <don't know. laughs> does the bottom end screw <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's crazy. I like so that. So it would be what fifty times six? It'd be thirty bucks. I mean, that's just crazy. I think thirty dollars would be that's hard crazy. to pass. I like pyrography. I, I always have. Yeah, I mean, somebody spent hours and hours and hours making that design in it. Oh, one thirty nine for the Submerso. That is pretty. I like that purple that's to blue. Very, I do too. Yeah. This purse is amazing. Submerso is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, a lot of work in that. They've got some interesting things here. I mean, these bamboo chairs look sort of like an Ames style base. And then they've got uh, this inlaid table. I mean, it's an interesting mix. The lamp is Blanco. You don't really see very many oh, Blanco lamps. No, yeah. 175, yeah, that's about yeah, right. And then they have the Georges Briard. I'm sure that's is who that this who's is. Tray that is. Yeah, yeah, I, I like his stuff. Some of it's going pretty high now. And then I wish they had four of these acrylic chairs. I buy these every time that I is see them. Amazing. They're really neat. Yeah, they're Italian from the early 70s. And I wish they had the whole set. Okay, am I seeing this right? Is this repurposed out of a Learjet stabilizer? Yes, that's correct. That is pretty cool. That is really cool. If you want a piece of a Learjet in your house, it's only going to be $9,000. Look at that sample. But I guess you couldn't get the Learjet for that. For $100, the Royal Dalton Bennykin's Oompa Band. I had a collector in Portland for that. Whenever I see this Hager in the pink and blue, I think Fat Bird Finds, because that's a color scheme that they introduced a lot of us to. That might be, is that ours, Prussia? Um, it's porcelain, it's European porcelain, but I suspect that might be Limoges. It doesn't have really enough shape to it, in my opinion, to be Prussia. Nippon. But, oh, Nippon, because of the beading, of course, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, the Moriaga. Yes, that's right, and I, uh, yes, Zeno's very happy that he convinced oh, me to pronounce it correctly. R.S. Tillowitz Silesia. So this is the company right after R.S. Prussia. This is when they were doing uh, stuff a little bit later, the bird one here. Look at this Murano fish one. This is a wee bit more expensive than the one I paid. Uh, yeah, I'd say you did pretty well with your... I think I paid 40 I think you did. Here's your Waterford. Guess what the price is. Oh, that's Jeffrey got that for five dollars. Yep, and it's oh, hundred twenty-five. He did all right. <laughs> we all had fun this weekend, that's for sure. This little piece here is going to be by Fulper Pottery. With that model glaze, they also did some crystalline glazes that were nice. Originally, the cavity on the bottom would have had a music box in it.
It turns what on? Ow. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Cambridge Blue Caprice, this is the Alpine when they did the satin on some of it. That's a cute little toad bowl for $35. Oh, look at, what, what do you think of that? Oh, these. Well, they look like they're supposed to be um, corn husk dolls, but I think that they were done sort of maybe as like uh, something to sell later. I don't really think that they are, the fabric doesn't seem old enough. I have a feeling it's somebody who was raised with these who made them to show the craft. Yeah. Like maybe in the 60s or something. Wow, it's Christmas all the time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they've got some cute stuff in here too. Napco booty with Santa. Santa's sitting on his booty. Paper mache snowman, that's cute, $40. These 1970s with the carolers, I like. The burlap one is something that we saw in that era. And then of course we have ceramic Christmas trees, not the ones that you buy at Target that all look the same, but ones that were done by hand by ceramicists in the 1970s as projects. That's where the collector market is. Nice little eggnog or Tom and Jerry set or fruit punch for the holidays and lots of old ornaments on an aluminum Christmas tree. Very pretty. Who says Christmas is over? Christmas can be all the time if you're a collector. And if you're a pretty serious Christmas collector, you can get the Yadro Santas, where they use that russet color that they often do in their glazes to set off his uniform. Harder to find, priced in the 275 range, but they are 20% off today. Oh wow! And then there's this really great booth with all the modern stuff that Kat is in, and I see her hands are empty, so I'm thinking they probably know how to price all of this, but there is cool stuff. 20% off that pink face is a color that you really don't see very often, but everybody's caught on to these, so they have 189 minus 20%, and you know it probably would sell for that somewhere. Maybe here, 149 minus 20% on the big red. The days of those being really cheap and undiscovered are fairly much past us at this point. Then here's a bunch of the Culverware in the 22 karat gold. This looks like the Antigua pattern by Culver. This is very similar to the Arco Rock set that I got recently and the one that we had in the estate sale in St. Pete as well. I always like this set as much for the tree, the pagoda-shaped caddy that they set on, as for the glasses themselves, 1960s. And I always like these ceramic ashtrays with the metal under frames. The lamp's pretty good too. This one's priced at 189 minus 20%. Needled railroad crossing sign. I mean, there are some really good dealers in here with some cool stuff. I never find these. The fairy lamps, I find the common ones. I'm not finding interesting ones very often these days. Well, that one's priced 75. Yeah, that's like the going right now. And then there's all of this Shelly China in the dainty with the Shelly rosebud on it. And boy, anything with this mark on it still goes pretty well. I mean, oh, yeah, Shelly does. Very well. Yeah, yeah. They did some really oddball stuff too that you wouldn't imagine. You know, I've always liked that color of blue, and I have to say, I wasn't that partial to the daisies until now that I see all of it in one place. Together. All of it together looks really good. I mean, a lot of things were made to go together in collections. Mm -hmm. That's why it's fun to put them back together, and here it is in green. Yeah, okay, that green is pretty cool. It doesn't glow in our black light, but it sure green. glows. Oh, 40% off that. Look. Ooh, well, we might have to spend a moment on this. It's fairly recent stuff, but it's called Franz Porcelain, and it's made in Thailand, I think. Drant. Oh, Drant. Okay, so this is someone looking like Franz. That's interesting. So now they have a competitor who's copying them. Uh, Franz is the name I was familiar with in this stuff, and well, that's interesting. I just learned something new. The Franz stuff sells really well and for good prices, and it's been around for like 20 years, so I guess it's Etsy vintage. It's really early custard glass. Now, some of this glows more than others. You really have to take your black light to it. It depends on how much uranium they used in the batch. That's a Florida thing right there. 
Sal Blinkoff, 1995, original sketch by a Disney artist. You're in the right place to find that stuff. You want to see yourself in a big mirror? Because I'm taking a picture of a big mirror. See back there? For scale, Dalton is probably three feet tall, maybe 30 inches. And look how big this pure mirror is. It's a pure mirror when it goes from the floor to the ceiling. Yeah, wow, he's right. That's cool. Well, here's a lot of cookie jars, and you see a lot of the newer era, and the newer era kind of overwhelmed the older era and made them not as valuable. But we do have an older one in the middle. This is Twin Winton. Don and Ross Winton were twin brothers. They had a factory together in San Juan Capistrano. They sold it in 1975 because the real estate was so valuable. And then the Wintons went for design on their own, and they ended up designing with treasure craft they ended up designing the mickey mouse telephone and various statues in the national air and space museum in israel all sorts of places but what a nice display these look like they're priced in the 150 to 200 plus I saw range 350, yeah. one of them's 350 yeah but they really are gorgeous and if they're perfect it's hard to find the paint perfect on these anymore Whiting and Davis, Mandalian, some German production. Very pretty. Makes me happy for the ones I have in stock right now. There's a table made out of a eight-cylinder engine. Well, while I stand in front of this case of Hummels, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Please thumbs up and comment if you would. And also check out the membership possibilities that we have for the channel. If you need appraisal help, go to theantiquenomad.com, my website. And we look forward to seeing you here, so do subscribe and click that bell to be notified of future videos. Subscription is free, but it lets us keep in touch with you. Thanks for joining me again in the fun and fascinating antique community here where online meets the real world. Please click the subscribe button below. Click the bell to be notified when new videos upload. Leave a comment below and hit thumbs up to like this video. Links to our online social media and our items for sale are in the description. This is George at The Antique Nomad. Bye for now.